Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I put together these little glittered ornaments. They were very simple to make and I really enjoyed it, so let's get to crafting. For my project today I'm going to be using these ornament balls. They are a plastic, a shatterproof plastic. I have them in clear and then I had some in the same packaging that had this kind of pearlescent look to them, a little bit of iridescence. Uh, you can use whatever ornament balls that you happen to have, some old ones that maybe the paint is chipping on and you can just paint them before you decorate them or you can go ahead and buy yourself the color that you already want or just clear. So this is what I'm going to work with today and like I said you can use whatever you want. Alright, so to decorate my ornament balls, I'm going to be using this Scribbles fabric paint. This is a 3D fabric paint and it comes in glitter, uh, which tells me that the white that you see here is the glue. So that should dry clear and then all we see is glitter. Now, if it's not glittery enough for me, I do have some extra glitter here. This is Glitz, that's what it is called, and it is Recollections. This I got from Michaels, by the way, and this one I got it from Hobby Lobby. All right, you're going to need some sort of a container that has some weight to it that won't tumble over easily uh, so that we can put our little ornaments while they're drying. Uh, you also need some sort of sticks. I'm just using like this brush and here and this little tool here that I have. Um, I'm going to take off the little hanger knobs off of my ornaments. I did realize that on this one when I took it off, part of it was broken off. So I don't know when that happened. I just got it out of the package brand new and removed this. So that's broken, but that doesn't keep me from holding that back on there. I'll just use some hot glue to make sure it doesn't come off. Uh, but I'm gonna be using the brush end on this one, or I think it's this one. Yeah, this one use a brush end on, uh, or this little tool end on here so that it fits nice and snug and it doesn't, you know, move around or fall off easily so that then I can decorate uh, my ornament ball without actually holding on to it. And then when I want to put it to dry, I can just kind of lean it down onto my little container, put it right in there. Now, I'm not going to worry about this little edge here if this gets smeared on here because um, I'm going to add some other items here and it's going to cover that up. So you might want to keep that in mind when you are decorating it that you don't have to go all the way to, you know, this particular end to where it meets up with a little knob there. Okay, so just so it fits in there like that, this little brush has a smaller um, uh, dimension, or yeah, dimension right here. So I can actually put it into the smaller hole here and hold that as well. And then I can also put that in my little jar here and, you know, let them sit there while they dry. Okay. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, the center, which is right about right here. Thankfully, there's a little line here that kind of helps. So I'm just going to find the center and put a little dot there so that I know where I'm going to end my lines at or start my lines at. Okay, so we're going to just go from that point over here and make a line and just make it as, you know, straight as you can. I don't feel like mine's going to be too straight, but I'm going to try. Right there. It's not perfect, but I like it. Okay, so then I'm just going to go with a little tip and just kind of just kind of smooth it out a little bit so we don't have too many bumpies here and there. Okay, so now I'm going to go in the opposite direction and make one over here. So just starting right here at this dot now. Just working my way. Okay, so now I'm just going to crisscross the opposite ways from here to here and then here to here, okay? Alright, so I've done my crisscross lines. They're not perfect as you can see, but I think when it dries and all you see is the glitter, that's all that's going to matter. So now I'm going to go ahead and do some more lines going in between those. So it's like we're slicing the like an orange. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right. All right. Once I have all those lines, I want to go ahead and set it aside and let those dry. So I'll go ahead and do the other ornament balls, just like this one. Uh, you could also use your air gun if you want to do that or your, you know, your hair, you know, your blow dryer to help it dry. 
Otherwise, go ahead and set it inside of your little canister. Like I said, this little bottom part right here can get smeared on here, and that's fine because we're going to cover it. So we just want to set it in there. There we go, just like that. All right, so I got a little bit ahead of myself, and I went ahead and I drew the extra lines on this one. And then I just went over and I sprinkled some more glitter on it just to make this one a little bit more glittery so that you can see the difference. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, I'll just show you in another one how I did those lines. It's super easy. All right, so I wanted this to dry before I did the other lines, but uh, because of my time, uh, I want to go ahead and just go ahead and get the other lines on here and let everything dry so that I can go on to the next step and finish my video so I can go ahead and upload it ASAP. So let's go ahead and do these lines. Uh, I did the little white ball and I did, did the lines on that one a little different. So then I went ahead and I uh, practiced on the smaller clear ball and I decided that I like those lines better so I'm just going to show you what I did then. Okay, so basically just take your, your little paint. I'm just going to squirt a little bit out and make sure no air bubbles. So I'm just going to go down from one line to the next and I'm going to go downward, okay, in a downward uh point like that and then I'm gonna on the other space next to it I'm gonna go up okay and then I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle go down meeting up with the other line and then up meeting up with the other line and then just a little bit further down and you can do this as many as you want or as little as you want uh, that's up to you so I'll see how, how I went like little peace signs all right so I'm just repeating the process for the rest of the little spaces here it went a little crooked here that's okay uh, but this is what I wanted see just to form that and I'm gonna go ahead and just do that to the uh, remaining balls and just let that dry all right so to decorate my ornaments I'm going to be using this package of mini pine picks it is a package of six and these I got from the Dollar Tree so this is what they look like. You can use anything similar. I'm going to be using some ribbons also for my ornaments. Here I have these two that are 1 8 inch wide. It is a white and a ivory color. Here's what it is close up. I'm going to use these as hangers for my ornaments. And I have these sheer ribbons. I have a white here that is about what three eighth inch wide and I have this ivory one that is a one fourth inch wide and this is what they look like up close all right of course you'll use whatever ribbons uh, and colors that you like I'm just showing you what I'm using in case you know you want to use something similar all right so I'm just using my wire cutters to cut off the little branches off of each of these little picks We just want some small pieces. All right, so to create the hanger for the top of my ornament, I'm gonna be taking this little knob that was on there and then about, I would say about anywhere from eight to 10 inches of ribbon. I have it folded in half here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that right there because these are thin enough. I'm just gonna take the both ends and feed them through the little hole on this little hanger here and then just or the little loop here and then just bring the ends through the loop of the ribbon and just pull it just like that and then on the ends here that are still open we can go ahead and knot those there we go just like that and now we've created a loop on here so that we can hang our ornament. And then this little bit, I'm just gonna glue it onto the top of the ornament opening so that it doesn't come off. All right, so I'm gonna take both of these ribbons. You don't have to use two ribbons, you can just use one. Uh, but I'm gonna use both of them to create little bows to put on top of the ornament. So I'm just gonna take a about, let me see, this is about five, this might be about 12 inches that I might use, uh, but what I'm going to do is instead of cutting it off the, the spools here, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on there, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a, a loop here with um, the ends here together, make a little loop, and then of course just make the other loop to make your 
uh, little bow, just a regular looped bow like this. Try to keep those two um, sizes about the same on these loops. Pull, and then I just pull on this part, pull on this, and then once again, so it'll it'll tighten the whole thing up. And then you can just trim to the size you want. If this is too much, just trim. And there we have a little double ribbed bow right there. Really cute. All right, so my ornaments still need a little bit more time to dry, but I wanna go ahead and finish decorating these. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on the little knob that goes on the top. Press it on. And now I'm gonna take these little bits and glue them on the top. just do one last ornament. This is what this one is looking like. Super simple. Alright, I'll just do this last one. Alright everyone, I have completed my ornaments. I think they look really pretty. They were super simple to make and I hope that you enjoyed watching my video. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below and let me know what you think of my little ornaments. If you enjoyed watching my videos and you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe by hitting that little red subscribe button down below and also the little notification bell. Choose all so that you get notified of my videos as soon as I upload them. Thank you again for watching and as always, enjoy.